Hello, welcome to my channel, Tazonomi Online Mathematics. In this episode, episode 3 of our tutorial on binary operations, we want to solve questions that combine two binary operators in one question. So first, the two binary operations are defined, then P triangle Q is given as 1 over P plus 1 over Q. Then that of P plus in a circle, that of Q will give a 1 over P minus 1 over Q. So we have to evaluate this expression, this expression, and the first one over the second one. If the P is taking a value of 3 over 5, and that of Q, 1 over 3. So right away, beginning with the first one, we are going to have P triangle Q will be 1 over P, 1 over Q. But replacing the value of P with 3 over 5, then that of Q, 1 over 3, as in P, Q. Then the operators, the operators will also change to plus, meaning 1 over 3 over 5, 1 over 1 over 3. Alright, so this is a double division whereby we know if I have 1 divided by 3 over 5, I can have 1 times flipping of this fraction 5 on top, 3 down. Meaning from here, I'll be having 5 on 3. Similarly, the 3 will go up. So 3 on what? 1. What do I do? This is a fraction that have different denominators. I can use butterfly approach or use equivalent fraction, meaning multiply this by 3 in order to have the same denominators. Meaning 5 on 3 plus 9 on 3, as in 3 times 3 on top, 1 times 3. So per them having the same denominators, what happened? We just add the numerators. So this, even from here, I can cancel. I will go back to the top. So I only have to add to get 14 over 3 as my top. Then I move straight forward to the second question or the second aspect of the question, which is going to be P plus operated on this 1 over P. 1 over Q. Now let's change the value of P to 3. That of this will be 1 over 3. So fast forward. 1 over the P value which is 3 on 5 minus 1 over Q value 1 over 3. From the explanation we have from the top here, we can change this to become 3. No? The 5 will go up to so 5 over 3 minus 3 over what? 1. But this changing can also happen here to give me 5 over 3 minus 9 over 3. The same denominator, we subtract the exponent. So we have minus 4 over 3 as our answer. What do we do from here? We now move straight to the third part which comprises of the P and triangle over P and that of all, the dot addition. So, by this calculation, we are supposed to also do this operation again, just as we have done for this at our numerator. Then this will also follow the same approach, but it will have been a repetition of what we have done. So I will just go straight forward to what does P triangle Q means. It means in this case 14 over 3 divided by the value of P not Q will all give me negative 4 over what? 3. Because if I want to solve this again, I will end up getting the same answer. If I want to solve this again, I will still get the same answer. So this becomes 14 on 3 divided by 4 as negative over 3. We change this to multiplication, so 14 on 3 times 
the flip of this become 3 over negative 4. So we know this will cancel. 2 can go into 4. 2 times. It go into 14. 7 times. So I'll be left with 7 over 2. Either negative 7 over 2 or 7 over negative 2. It means the same answer. So this is what we can get if the operators are combined. Just use each of their description or each of their definition. Combine them together. Then voila. There you are. Like this video. Share and comment. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. So that you receive more of my video anytime I upload one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.